By the way, this is Mr. Natural Banana. Today I'm going to review the optimum nutrition essential amino acids. So in terms of taste, mm, I would give 6 out of 10. It's not really a great tasting BCAs. I never had used uh, EEAs. I have heard a lot about it. So I thought this time instead of trying BCAAs, I will try EAAs, essential amino acids. I had been trying for last two to three days after I got it. So I want to put my very honest opinion and I will also explain if we really need it or not. And if you like my content and my videos, please give a share, like and subscribe. All right. So what is EAA? Uh, as the name suggests, it's essential amino acids. Now, you may ask, what is the difference between EAA and BCAAs? Uh, BCAAs basically uh, consist three essential amino acids, um, which is leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And if I have to compare with EAAs, it has got nine essential uh, amino acids, which anyways contain the three essential ones from BCAAs. Now the next question, uh, do you need EAAs or which one should I take, EAA or BCAA? As per my experience, if you are doing a proper diet or and you have been working out regularly, I do not think there is any necessity to go for BCAA or EAA overall. So it would be a waste of investment for you on your body. Now, though knowing the fact that there had been so many studies and there had been a ton of arguments online, I'll, I'll give you a rough idea why I decide to take it. My diet is all, not always on point. Sometimes I'm not taking enough proteins. Uh, other day, uh, I'm, I'm going on a low carb. Sometimes I'm maintaining calorie deficit, for an example, for the previous two days. If I have been on a uh, high calorie diet or if I have gone for a cheat meal. So I know I had ton of junk food in my body so I need to burn. So what I do the following few days I would go on caloric deficit. That means uh, I would start my breakfast only with an apple and a protein shake or some omelets. Uh, that's how and throughout the day I would I would not consume high caloric food. Even I would intake a less amount of carbs. For an example I would cut out uh, brown rice of my diet include vegetables fruits and and proteins so what happens is that if you have been cutting out uh, drastically all of a sudden when i go for a workout those days i'm really low on energy so i would not feel that punch or that you know motivation from inside it really becomes difficult to push you through uh, towards a two hour gym session so even if it is a placebo effect, uh, having a sip of BCA or EEA, it has a little bit of uh, sweetness, which gives you a um, boost. Or I would say you're trying to trick your brain uh, with some artificial uh, sweetener. You can push yourself through those last reps to the max. So that's how I benefit. I mean, you have taken three to four meals like an enough amount of nutrition uh, eggs or to brown bread so you have all the energy essential that is necessary for you to sustain through the workout in that case i would say you would not need it however if you build up a habit sometimes you think that you're missing on something a form so for all those guys uh <laughs> we are in the same game uh, so I just feel myself that I can push through those extra herbs and it really sometimes gives me the motivation to push harder. Now there is another factor. I still do ton of cardios after workout. So bear in mind, if you have hit two body part and towards the end, if you're doing a little bit of abs with 20 minutes of cardio session, then it depends how strong you are i cannot sustain so i need some form of uh, artificial i would say <laughs> a cola drink or a sugar drink which gives you a bit of energy uh, left so that you can push harder so this is for the first time i'm going with this eea from on 
It's mojito, so it's, it basically tastes like citrus spray, to be honest to you. <laughs> However, when you look into the ingredients, ingredients are not bad. It has got beta alanine, caffeine, uh, green tea extract and green coffee extract which basically mean it's in one serving you're getting 100 milligram of caffeine so in that in that aspect if you have to ask me the question yeah when you're sipping through it at the same time uh, you're getting some a bit of caffeine now as you know caffeine definitely uh, increase your alertness i would not invest on another supplement for a pre-workout drink so a cup of coffee let's see if this uh, EAA throughout the workout session is enough for me how i basically go with the, with the serving uh, the boxes that i'm supposed to force scoops of uh, throughout the workout so what i do i take two scoops as a pre-workout replacement i just chug it uh, and uh, the other two scoop I mix in a, a super. Now in terms of side effects, I don't really think there would be any side effect. It's basically a normal and drink. And the profile in basically consists of nine essential amino acids, which you anyways get from our food. Still, uh, if you think that you are not feeling great or or feeling queasy after you drink, maybe you, sh you should stop it. Other than that. Yeah, the taste not great. Maybe that could be one of the factor, especially for this. There may be uh, multiple other companies who would have much better uh, flavors. But for this brand, especially for this product, there is only one. Uh, sorry, two uh, flavor available online. I bought it from Amazon for um, uh, for around twenty pounds. For viewers who are watching from India, it is like uh, hardly I would say two thousand rupees. Now, if you ask which one to buy out, you, you, you put your own uh, skills to test, go Amazon and check online whichever best for you. And maybe you should try out with the cheapest one or, or one which has a good reviews and see for yourself how it works for you. Uh, I definitely have seen a bit of improvement, maybe a mental satisfaction because I don't have to invest on a separate pre-workout. I would take a cup of coffee and during workout, I'll continue with this. Do you really need, when we talk about amino acids, there are two different types for, for, for now, which, which we regularly see in the market, BCAA and EAA. If you're one of those guys who fasted state workout, like empty stomach in the morning, then yeah, definitely it would boost you because uh, it would give you all the uh, nine essential uh, amino acid it has a complete profile at the same time it would help you to synthesize those protein in your body so yeah i would definitely recommend if you want to who work out after you have finished your daily work goes out in the evening then you make you can give a thought thing so there are days when i i, I have completed my office work i'm really tired i have no energy i would definitely need uh, as there's some sugar cake in my body so this really helps uh, it doesn't mean that this product like any intra uh, workout drink really helps me for last two days when i've been taking i have seen a little bit of sustained energy in my body uh, i haven't felt a crash for an example yesterday into the gym worked out for almost uh, two hour 15 minutes i did a blasting leg workout with carbs included so basically i would consider this a two body part and then i did abs three body part and after that i have did 20 minutes of running so yeah after the workout was over I, I was still feeling fresh if i'm just sipping on water and, and doing my workout i feel exhausted or feel like i'm gonna crash somewhere definitely helps to keep your body not to go into a catabolic stage, which I feel me. Uh, there is no study I have done, and neither I am a fitness expert. If you're not one of those uh, nosy with flavors, then it should be fine for you. After two or three serving, you'll be okay with the taste. So yeah, that's my honest review, guys. Uh, you should give it a try, how you like it. Uh, for now, I may try for a few months and check how it works out. Not, it's not helping me, helping me a lot. Maybe I would switch. But yeah, I don't waste my money on supplement buying random products. At times I end up buying, but I'm not one of those um, what you call the uh, impulse shopper who would go and buy and everything. No, I really put my thought and my hard-earned money to something which is useful or bring some value. So if it continues to bring me value, I'll definitely continue, otherwise I will.
Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> so that's it, guys, for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you really liked it, please like, subscribe, and share. I will try my best to bring some more, more uh, informational videos in future. Thank you and joining with Mr. Natural Vanan on this video. See you again.